Kurt Lewin is known as the father of modern social psychology, and he was born on September 9, 1890 in a small village in Prussia. He was one of four children in a middle-class Jewish family, and he moved to Berlin when he was aged 15 to be enrolled in the gymnasium. In 1909, Lewin entered the University of Freiburg to study medicine, and later transferred to the University of Munich to study biology. Around this time, he became involved in the socialist movement. His particular concerns were the combating of anti-Semitism, the democratization of German institutions, and the need to improve the position of women. Among with other students, he organized and taught an adult education program for working class women and men. In 1916, Lewin got his doctorate at the University of Berlin with Karl Stumpf, where he also became interested in Gestalt psychology. Around this time, the Nazi threat in Germany had worsened, and he immigrated to America in 1933. He worked at the University of Iowa for the next nine years, where he published his first collection of papers in English. There, he continued to develop his interest in social processes and, and to undertake research in that area. Lewin was very involved in applied research initiatives linked to the war effort, which included exploring the morale of the fighting troops, psychological warfare, and redirecting food consumption away from foods in short supply. His social commitments remained strong, and his dedication to the study of minority and intergroup relations soon led him to establish the Research Center for Group Dynamics at MIT in 1944. World War I had a huge influence on Lewin, and he sought to understand the discrimination against Jews. In fact, he later became involved in a project for the American Jewish Congress, where he focused on solving social problems in a number of studies on religious and racial prejudice. From this work emerged the notion of training groups, also known as T-groups. This type of group psychotherapy had participants learn about themselves and the group itself through interaction with one another using feedback, problem solving, and role play. The initial T groups focused on small group dynamics, with the aim to develop self understanding and interpersonal communication. This became widely used by businesses in the 1960s and 70s, and is popularly known as the predecessors of current team building and corporate culture initiatives. Current Lewin had a profound impact on a generation of researchers and thinkers concerned with group dynamics. Lewin's research on minorities and prejudice provided insight on how groups have two key characteristics, interdependence of fate and task interdependence. Lewin had looked to the nature of group tasks in an attempt to understand the uniformity of some group's behavior. He was able to argue that people may come to a group with very different dispositions, but if they share a common objective, they are likely to act together to achieve it. The applications of group dynamics still continue to influence our behavior today especially in the business field. Team member identity, team relationships, and organizational conflicts are issues that companies and their staff deal with every day. Lewin's research improved the efficiency of businesses of various industries with models such as the forming, performing, storming, and norming model, proving that group problem solving is effective as long as there is tolerance, cooperation, and a shared end goal. Statue of us.